why doesn't God show himself or herself physically? Because people say if if God would show himself physically, I will believe in God. But this is erroneous. Let me give you an example. Let's say a father is talking to his 15-year-old son. His son wants to go for the weekend and stay over at his friend's house. And the father agrees. But the father, before he goes, he gives them advice. He tells them how to think, what to do, what not to do. He gives them the advice. And then the son goes to his friend's house. But something happened. The son did not obey the father and bad things happened. Things that were not supposed to happen. So now, what happened? Why didn't the son obey the father? There's a very simple reason. It has to do with the flesh, meaning with the physical. While the son was in front of the father, he was agreeing with his father. But when the son went away, he didn't have the physical and he didn't honor the words, the invisible words of the Father. This means, this is how the world acts. The world honors the physical. It doesn't honor the spiritual, meaning the way of thinking of someone, the words of someone, the spiritual spirit of someone that's why i told you that the word spirit means a way of thinking so the father speaking to the son he's transmitting his way of thinking to his son but when the son goes away the son does not honor the words of his father he only honors which is hypocrisy only honors the flesh, the physical, not the words, and the words are divine. The words are, are what matters. They are what really matters are the words. When somebody tells you something, those words have to have a meaning and they have to have a way, they have to have value. And this is why people betray each other every day, because they'll say something in front of you, but behind you, they'll say something else. Somebody will make a deal and they will not honor the deal because the words have no value. There is no value in their words. The same thing with a husband and a wife, right? In front of them, they honor each other, but when they are separate, they do not. So their words have their words and their and their covenant, their commitment ha has no meaning. It has no value. This proves that words are what really matters. But this world worships the physical it worships what it could see with the eyes or with the senses what it could smell or touch or whatever that's what it honors it doesn't honor and this is what separates us from animals that's why the bible speak of the word of god is so important because words are, are what really is is what really is important not the physical, not what you see, but what you don't see is what has real value. That, that is what has, the, what it has real value, okay? So when you say something, make sure that you keep your word because that's the way that God wants it because this is why we have all these problems in the world 
because the words have no value. Everything is people, people judge things only by the physical and not by the value of the words, okay? And this proves that God exists because this is something powerful. The word of God is powerful because if you had a physical God, it would mean nothing. So you see it, you know, it might look beautiful, it might look powerful for your senses, for your eyes. But the words, the words which come from the spirit, from the persona, is what's important. Not what you see with your eyes. So seeing God physically doesn't mean anything at all. It would, it would have no value. Just because you see something with your eyes doesn't give it value. It has no value. That's why one of the verses in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that God says, their gods, their idols, they don't see, they don't hear, they don't speak. Okay? Because it's just something that you see, something physical that you see. So the words the words are 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 the words hold the real value if you say something make sure that you say something that you can keep what you're saying that that brings in the perfection of what god is that's why the bible is there see it's words that's why that that's why it's so important because it's words and that's why books books people read books so much because words right the words are what was important people don't want to see pictures in a book maybe the people now because everybody just wants to see images right the 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 image of the beast but the words are what is important and that's the way that god designed us animals cannot do this but we humans can do this that is the power of the word and that's it